Hi everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from Air Venture 2017, where multi-rotor aircraft are beginning to show a presence, including this one from a company called Kitty Hawk. It's too windy for it to fly the day we visited the lake, but Todd Reichert gave us a little details on what the company plans to do with its design. So this is this is step one in a much bigger vision. Uh, effectively, we are we are crossing this threshold, right? With with battery technology and computing and small lightweight sensors, um, we're now this is this is now physically possible. We can make incredibly simple machines mechanically. This thing has eight moving parts. That's it. It has eight motors, and that's all that moves. And we're turning a, a hardware problem into a software problem. Um, so. On the one hand, it is, it is sort of crossing this threshold. The use cases in the next five to ten years are going to be incredibly diverse. Uh, we're going to see a lot of really interesting and new things. But yeah, this individual aircraft is meant for recreational purposes. So basically, uh, it's an ultralight, it's in, in the ultralight category, so you don't need a, a, a pilot's license. Um, and it's a category that we're able to make something that we could release and sell now. With this aircraft, this aircraft is step one in a greater vision, where we're going to make something that is incredibly easy to fly. This may be the, the easiest to fly aircraft ever, ever created, something that you could literally learn to fly in minutes. So, yeah, so I guess the, the short answer is yes, this is recreational, and yes, this is just step one. We, we try not to draw too many uh, parallel, we, we try not to think of this as a, as a drone. I mean, this is a this is something that a human flies in uh, and that a human f flies themselves um, and, and gets to actually experience that, that feeling of flight. Um, so in terms of the, the hardware and the software, there's a lot of similarities. But in terms of, I think, the intent and, the, and, and obviously the market that we're, that we're looking at is very different. So the prototype is 230 pounds. Uh, the go-to-market version will be under 254 pounds, which is the ultralight limit. There are certain limitations in the ultralight category. It has to be recreational. Uh, it has to fly over open spaces. It has to stay under 55 knots. It's, so there's sort of these broad limitations as, as to what you can do with it. Um, but the beauty of the category is that it's, that category was put there to allow people to experiment uh, and to really try new things. So this is an entirely new type of aircraft uh, and the ultralight category is, uh, is amazing for that. The, the one that we'll be going to market with will be 15 to 20 minutes. So it's starting to, starting to cross that threshold where you can, where you can go somewhere. I mean, it's not, it's not ours yet, uh, but endurance will come as, as batteries improve. We're not quite ready to release pricing information yet. Um, that we, we will be releasing soon, uh, within the next few months, as as we release the product. But right now, we're not not even really giving any hints. <laughs> you can learn more on kittyhawk.aero. That's kittyhawk.aero. Uh, we have a membership program that's open um, right now, so you can you can sign up for that to get updates, discounts on the aircraft, and and potentially flights on the aircraft.